and, and we live. live. We're keeping it real with the Millers. I'm Monica. I'm Morgan. And we live. We have to kind of be quiet. We can't be loud. Cedric's downstairs doing schoolwork. So that's why we're in a new location. So now when we go live, if he's doing schoolwork, we have to be upstairs. Mm -hmm. So hope the lighting is okay. Hello, Carol. Hi, Carol. We'll give Dwayne a shout out. He was the first one here. I think he was here like an hour before we were supposed to start. <laughs> uh, can you see us good? Is the lighting okay? I guess there's one thing I could try to do. Are you in the bath bathroom? No, <laughs> we're in the kids' living room. We're in the dining room. Dining room. We're upstairs. There, is that better? And James is here, Katie Trader's here, Carol's here, Cindy is here, Monica's here, Margo's here, Tanya is here. Yay, okay. all our people are here. So, kind of our plan, we're going to tell you about Morgan's birthday, and she's going to show you some of the things that she got. Um, and then we have a couple of subscription boxes we're going to open. We have yeah. uh, Scrawl Box. We have loot crates, and we have, of course, snack crates. Yay! And then we have a couple of things for live auction and um, do yeah. some trivia. Yeah, we got kicked out by Cedric. So yeah. this week has been crazy. It's been our first week of starting homeschooling, like the online schooling. It's a lot of work. I have not gotten much done on eBay, <laughs> and so... It's really been a learning process for all of us, and there's still a lot more that we need to learn and to figure it out, um, but we're gonna get through it. Um, and he's just got two weeks until the quarter's over help. Yeah, he gets two weeks. He went to school this week, he's got next week of school, and then he gets a week off, kind of breather um, and get back on track, and then he starts fresh um, that first week in April. So. I mean, I think it's going to be good. It's just figuring it out. So that's been kind of stressful this week. But yesterday was Morgan's birthday. She yep. is 22. I cannot believe I'm old enough to have a 22-year-old. And it was a fun day. Grandma took the day off of work. And so um, what all did we do? We, we, went, went, in, to, we went to Canterbury, which is a local coffee shop. And we went and got our favorite drinks. So that was really fun. Yeah. And we went to Hobby Lobby. Oh, your stuff's right there. She'll show you what she got from Hobby Lobby. So she, we got these markers. They're pastel brushables for color books. Um, they're really cute. And we got two of them because sometimes when she finds one she likes, they run out quickly. Yeah. And they're like dual tips. And they were on sale for $5.50 each. So that was a really good deal. So we picked those up. And then she got some um, skin toned uh, colored pencils. We picked that up. Party at the Miller's house. <laughs> oh, everybody's saying, oh, what Monica say? Yeah. Oh, Carol said they knew something. Ooh. Monica said, my daughter said, happy birthday. Her phone is wacky right now. Oh, no. That stinks. <laughs> Monica, we hope you are doing okay. We know that you have had a lot of loss and a lot of change and we have been praying for you and we love you and we just want to tell you that we love you guys and sending you guys lots of love and blessings. Mm -hmm. um, then she found these are really cool. They're metallic colored pencils. Um, they weren't very expensive. They're like five bucks. But so that might be fun. And we'll show you why we picked that up. All right, let's put those aside. So, oh. Uh -huh. Girl said, a happy birthday, Morgan. We love you. Thank you. So then we went to Hobby Lobby, picked up those things, and then we're looking for a display case for her to put. You'll see her nundroids and stuff in. So we went to an antique place. Well, it was supposed to be, but it's not. Yes, son? Do you need me? Cedric? Okay. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, and so we went and looked there. That was kind of, uh, we didn't find anything. Nope. And then where'd we go from there? We went to Lucan's, Lucan. our grocery store. We picked a bunch of, bunch of stuff up for lunch. And, 
Oh, your mom said you want Christmas ornaments for your birthday. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then we, she wanted a, what did we get? Um, we got a DQ birthday cake. Yeah, queen birthday cake. What kind of what flavor did strawberry you get? Strawberry cheesecake. Yep, so we got strawberry cheesecake. And then we came home and we ate our food, our lunch. Grandpa yep. came over and brought eclairs. Eclair. Yep. Those so, were good. Cedric had class. Frog ones. No. <laughs> um, so Cedric had class. So while he was at class, we played me. Par beat the parents. Beat the parents. That was fun. Me, the grandparents, and Morgan. So that was fun. We did that. Mm -hmm. And then did we open presents when Sud was done with school? Yeah. Yep. We opened presents. And then we made chicken enchiladas for supper. And so we had supper. And then we had cake. It was a good day. Yeah. So she's going to show you some of the things that she got from her birthday. Okay. So I got this. Um, This is hollow from Spice and Wolf. The anime, and my grandpa got me this. Sure, show them the back so they can see what it'll look like. So these are called Nendroids. These are the things that she loves. So she wants to get a big display case to put them in because you want them to try to get not, not to have dust and stuff. Then I got Belle from Beauty and the Beast. Which is the cutest one. Ever. Yeah. So cute. Margo, it was. It was so yummy, and we don't like super spicy. So one thing we do with the enchilada sauce that we found What's is cream? put a ton of sour cream in it. It's so good. It's yeah. so yummy. Then we, I got Hatsune Miku Harvest Moon version. That one's cute too. Yeah, that one's cute. And then one more. Then right. Amelia from ReZero. Then I got tons of coloring books. So uh, this is a grayscale coloring book. So you color it's special gray in the inside. And so you color it with color pencils and it's supposed to look like it's colored. Oh my god, does the same thing. It was so good. It was so yummy. Then I got a Korean coloring book. That's what it looks like inside. Then I got a zombie, misfit zombies coloring book. And I got Koi Girls coloring book. Then I got whimsy, a Whimsy Girl Christmas coloring book. So one thing me and Morgan are going to do now that Cedric, we have a schedule now that Cedric's in school, is we're going to find time and um, do color, do like art art time and mm. do some coloring and Last stuff. Last but not least, Enchanted Halloween coloring book. There's some fun ones. Yep. All right. And then. <laughs> this is funny. So, Dwayne. Dwayne got me a present. And I was expecting something else. I was expecting a figure that was looking like that. That would be like, like these. These. So, this is what she was hoping was a nendroid that looked like this. All put together and painted and looking all cute. And it was going to look like that. And then and we opened it up, <laughs> and we got like this <laughs> unpainted resin pieces that you have to put together. And I'm like, what the heck did Dwayne just got me? <laughs> I'm like, it was a link you sent him. I'm like, I'm like, I did. <laughs> I'm like, what did I send him? <laughs> And so, I'm like, oh, oh, but I should have like read the description first instead of <laughs> that. <laughs> Where it said it was just a model and it wasn't the actual figure. So what we're gonna do is buy some acrylic paint and paint it. We're gonna see if we can paint it. 
paint it. And, and then do not, we throw it away and buy the real thing. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up with a project. Yep. <laughs> but it says, like on here, it says model. So, yeah. So we'll just try and see what. <laughs> Yeah, she was so upset. She was so mad. She went, she's like, the fuck is this? <laughs> she was so upset. She's like, what did Dwayne send me? And I'm like, well, Wait, Dwayne. like, well, way to go. We're going to read the description. <laughs> That's what I told yeah. her. I'm like, you can't play Dwayne because you sent him the link. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you got. That's so. Funny. Yeah. That's the family from the channel. It is. I just heard you swear. Oh. Oh, that's the type of family friendly yep. we do. <laughs> Are you done? No. You're still not done with it? No. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah. Yep. <laughs> so we got an idea. We're going to try it. We've never done anything like this. So we're going to have to do some research and figure out what kind of paint. And um, next one, send a broken one. <laughs> <laughs> and one part, one piece of it is broken though. Yeah. So one part of it, this piece was Broke. broken when we opened it. When we opened it, it was it was bent up. So, um, yeah. No thunder. <laughs> Good job, Dwayne. Time. Your present was a hit. <laughs> Carol, <laughs> don't buy me a broken one. <laughs> Just for fun. <laughs> uh, yeah, Cedric is supposed to be doing his practice MCA math test. He's like not a happy boy today. No. Oh. So yeah. So that's what. It, but it was a good birthday. Yeah. We had fun, and that's the thing. Oh, I'm gonna go get this card. Um, talk to him. Get that bean. Oh. <laughs> Hi. <It's> Hi. <laughs> I'm kind of excited of doing it, but I'm kind of. Scared at the same time doing it. <laughs> like, what if it messes up? <laughs> That's our biggest fear. Yeah. Instead of nothing else, we'll just do it in black and white no. and gray <laughs> scale. <laughs> so we went. It's been kind of nice having Cedric Coleman. I think once we kind of figure out the schedule and how to make sure he's doing all his work, it's going to be a lot nicer. We just bought a glass whiteboard. It's huge. Like here, I'll show you guys. Can you guys see that big, huge box over there? That's his whiteboard that we're putting downstairs. So that will help us like getting on task of his classes and when his, um, what his assignments are. And so then that will make our life a little bit be better because we're trying to really have a schedule. And, but we, the other day- like, Went to Target. No, well, all kid, both kids needed new shoes. Yep, we needed so new shoes. So we had to go drop a bunch of money on some shoes. And then we went to Target. And then we went to Target, and Cedric, this is the game he picked. It's called Joking Hazard. It's the most funniest it's, game ever. Now, this is not child-friendly. This, <laughs> this is like your one, you have to have a very good sense of humor and kind of raunchy. Like we do, like my mom and my dad won't play this with us. No, nope. but we played this game for like an hour. It was so much fun. Oh my God, we but were this crying. is like, Laughter. yeah, seriously crying. But see, that's what it is, and you kind of create it. So it's kind of like um, Cards Against Humanity, in but, a sense, but darker. <laughs> well, no, because Cards Against Humanity is pretty dark. It's like apples to apples, but for adults. Yeah. At least you made it. Me. Let, I mean, it made, made you me laugh. laugh. Yeah, it did. We made, and you know, I think it's going to be a good experience. It gives mm -hmm. us, it gives her something, and me and her to do. And so we're just going to learn. It'll be a learning exp experience. Yeah. But yes, Dwayne, your present was a flop. <laughs> <laughs> but so we did this one day, and this was fun. But yeah, th they're pretty. Let's see if I can just show you the like card. It's pretty hard. It's just like. like Dirty. Oh, I don't want to show that one. That one's they're they're Art. pretty. Art one. <laughs> I'm trying to see this one. Yeah, the dark one. They get this is just like this is even timid. Art. <laughs> this is timid. Yeah, but there's yeah. like worse ones than that. Yeah, there's worse. Oh, here, this here. one is it. Oh, it's oh, <laughs> oh, oh, not no. that one. <laughs> 
There's some pretty there. Parts there. <laughs> and worse. There's some sexual ones and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you gotta have a certain type of humor. So. Oh, not exercise equipment, Carol. <laughs> Oh, we we already have that. Yeah. That's not being used. Yeah, so we had to set up an area for Cedric, and so we ended. We had a um, treadmill that was in the downstairs, and so that had to get moved so he can have a little his whole no, school area. So now it's in my mom's room. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what should we open first? Let's start with loot crate. Okay. So we're going to open up Loot Crate. You guys know about Loot Crate. I don't have the links down below. No, not seaweed. Anything no, but seaweed. No, anything but seaweed. No, what we really need, Carol? Fall. <laughs> yeah, we need fall. We're hopefully going to get, we're getting a noodle place. Yeah. Um, I've been really craving a uh, chocolate chip moon pie. Oh, or black yeah. moon. Yeah. Chocolate chip black moon would be delicious. So Loot Crate, you guys know, if you guys haven't watched, I don't have the link down below, but they have tons of subscription boxes. Um, we get just the, this is just the basic one. We signed up for a year, so we keep getting it. Um, I don't have a clue what this one is. <laughs> you always get a shirt. Is that oh, it? that's it? That's it. A shirt. <laughs> Thank you for signing up for one year of Awesome Loot Crate. Thank you. Oh, so this is just a welcome to an exclusive club who know they deserve. Please accept the style of team made exclusively for one year subscribers. So this was just like an extra gift they sent us. Oh. So just for subscribing for a year, we get a Loot Crate we shirt. We get a Loot Crate shirt, which is pretty cool. We get all our shirts in three yeah. <laughs> Black Moon for Morgan, not Monica. <laughs> Why? I've been good on my diet. I think I've lost, what was it, like 15? You said 17. 17 pounds since I've uh, really cut out pot. I, I think this week I only had one pot. Yeah. That was when we went out to eat. Yep. I just had one glass of pot. Otherwise, I've been doing really good. Fortnite. Ooh, that sucks, Carol. What? Yeah, since it's March, the snow melts fast, but we are getting another storm Tuesday. Oh my gosh, you guys have just been getting hit with storms. Yeah, so I hope I can keep it up. I've been really trying to even watch my sweets and stuff, so we'll see. Okay, what do you want to do now? I don't care. Yeah, 15 pounds. That's what the scale said. I don't know if I trust my scale. I might need a new scale, but I feel better. So I'm just going to keep on trying. I need to start working, like walking on the treadmill a little bit, but I'm in physical therapy. So I haven't had a headache for two weeks. So that's good. Yep. I cut all my hair off. So I cut like four inches off. <laughs> so that makes my head feel better too. And the weather's getting a little bit nicer. There's more sun. So yeah. my body is starting to feel better. So yeah. yeah. So it's, Margo said I stopped drinking soda over a year ago. I just switched to sweet tea. That tea. My peach tea. Um, which isn't too bad. One other thing that I found out because I have a lot of stomach problems. So I try to once a day drink um le lemon water with real lemon. I squirt half of a lemon in my water, and that's really good for your stomach and also helps increase your metabolism. Hmm. Which you should do. <laughs> <laughs> it was because of my haircut, right? <laughs> oh, 15 pounds of hair, probably. So we're going to start with scrolling. All right. Well, which one do you want to do? You want to do this one? I don't care what we do. Okay, we're going to do scroll over. Okay. Right. I haven't done the artwork. Because she hasn't right. been doing the last one. She didn't do what she was supposed to do. That's why we never showed it. Now I have canceled this subscription because she's not doing what she's supposed to do. So I told her it will depend on how she does with this one if we end up getting it again. Yeah. She's been kind of slacking. Yep. She's been tracking. Ginger is good for you in the tummy as well. Yeah, I don't like ginger. Neither do I. But like we've been eating healthier, not eating out so much. Yep. 
um, eating at home more, even for lunches. I'm I can't open this thing. What the heck? Open it. Yeah. Open. Open, Sesame. There. All right. That's what it looks like. A bunch okay. of stuff. What's the Come challenge? On. The challenge is quiet morning. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> I could just draw me with olive. <laughs> yeah, you can do whatever. So I'm hoping she will actually do more. And then they always give you a little sticker. And then the art supply. Bridget said, I stopped soda in 2011, lost 80 pounds, gained 20 back over the years, but I drink mostly water with lemon. I have not gone back to soda. Wow. I know. Soda was my only vice to Carol, but I just can't. It was really hurting my tummy. Bye, Dwayne. Bye, Dwayne. What? I bought a storage unit. Maybe we'll go live and show y'all. Yeah, I want to see that. Dwayne, are you back at home? Are you back from... Where'd you go? I Idaho? Did you get some good potatoes in Idaho? What are you going to do? Just pick one. Okay, so we got the candy. Watermelon. <laughs> Bubble gum. Yum, that's mine. What's that? Uh, water brush. So this is Tiny one. Fable Castile Water Brush. Tiny one. So I you fill tiny. this with water, and then it's like a water paintbrush. She's used these before, yep. right? They're good. They're good. And then, oh, didn't you get that one. last time? No, I got a different one. So this is a metal single hole sharpener. I might have to steal that from you. Okay. So I can like sharpen my... Um, Keep it. I don't like pencil sharpener. My anyway. uh, pen, lip pen. Uh, lip pen. My lip pen. Pencil. My lip pencil. <laughs> What's it called? <laughs> Did you get some good... Idaho has good potatoes. Potato chips. And an eraser. So this is a Mars plastic eraser, a quality eraser that leaves no discoloration of itself on the paper. It has a sliding sleeve for convenient handling and it's bellifly and latex free. Good performance with minimal wear and crumbling. Watercolor pencils. Oh. I hate watercolor pencils. That's a good brand though. Yeah. Fabril Castell, which is a good brand. Yep. Um, the got Gold Faber Aqua Pencils excel with their soft, intense color, lay down in outstanding color brilliance using either dry or wet techniques. The fully water, water soluble pencils have great pigment, and when combined with a wet brush, can create amazing watercolor effects. Then we got the pencil. Remember, this is a Stadler, can't say that, Mars Lumograph. Pencil, a quality pencil that is remarkable, break resistant, and easy to sharpen, cleanly due to its specially formulated super bond leads. The soft graphite of the Mars Loomer Graph pencils draw and erase easily. A little piece of paper. And then water paper. And then the picture is this. And the artist is Carla Cotois. Cool. Carla Cotua? Yeah. All right. I don't really understand what these pictures are for, but. It's just the artist oh, of the month. Artist of the month. Okay. So that's what she got. And what's your thing again? Uh, quiet morning. Quiet morning. So hopefully she does it this time. <laughs> and we'll have a picture to show you. We'll yeah. see. All right. We're running out of room. We're running out of room. Okay. My, listen, my eye is itchy. All right. Stack rate. Stack rate. Stack rate. So the other, we have the other food one, but we're both like, we don't think we can do two food ones. No. And we'll be sick to our stomach. So we decided to do snack rate. The other food one, I don't know if you guys remember, but we won a tablet. When the tablet was opened and the guy is saying that he just was checking it out, which I thought was kind of strange, and it doesn't work, and he's not willing to do anything about it. He said there was no warranty on it, which I thought was really strange. If it was brand new, it should at least have a year warranty. So, yeah, we canceled. Mm -hmm. 
So, snack crate. Let's yeah, see what kids. we got. What do we got? Sweden. Sweden. We got Sweden before. Have we? Yeah. You think we've gotten all the countries now? Maybe. Now they're going to be, we'll have to see if they're like repeats. That's what we decided if when we started to get a bunch of the same countries that we've already had. We get the stickers and then Sweden. Show them the front. Go close. <laughs> okay, let's do the fun fact. Oh, Dwayne loves me. <laughs> I just saw that. <laughs> okay, fun fact. Sweden has the highest number of McDonald's restaurants per capita <laughs> in Europe. Wow. That's a McDonald's. Swede loved Donald Duck so much that the government made it illegal to vote for him in elections in 2006. <laughs> they were trying to vote for Donald Duck for, pre for president in Sweden. Every year, the Ice Hotel in Dukas Jarvi Karina is built from ice taken from the Torn River. Wow. Dynamite was invented in Sweden by Alfred <laughs> Nobel, namesake of the Nobel Prize. Cool. 99% of Sweden's waste is recycled. That's awesome. The sun rises at 3.30 a.m. in the summer and sets at 3.30 p.m. in the winter. That's awesome. <laughs> well, That's it. All right. So now we will show you what's in there. So you can get, what is it, mini? Mini, original, and premium. Premium. We have only got premium once. We always get original. We got gut and black. Super sour. I think it means sour. Super sour. Super sour. Yeah, right. That's only, what they always say. Look at what I got. I ain't eating that. <laughs> The only sour candy that we got was from Japan. Yeah. Oh. This is a gummy bear sewer. I think we've had these before. These aren't sour. There's going to be a lot of sweets. Sweden is known for their chocolate. Yeah, there better be some in there. Yep. Okay. Good. Okay. There's chips. Oh, there's chips? Yes. Chocolate chips? No, just chips. What kind of grilled chips? Try and see if you can see. They're just grilled chips. Hopefully these will be good. Mm -hmm. I love savory. Ew. This is black licorice. We're not going to eat that. We're not trying to. A little black licorice. Why do you always put licorice? Because we didn't like licorice. Nugget. Nugget. Oh, this is licorice too. These are oh, Whoa. and it's open. Oh, these things are open. Oh, what's happening? <laughs> these things are were open. That's gross. They're open at the bottom, and they are so disgusting. We've had these yeah. before. Ugh, they're awful. Ooh, are you? These are awful. What's that? An Oreo. No. What's this? Kits. Some kind of candy bar. Damn. We've had that before. Is that that's these? I love these. This has like a toffee inside of it. We've had this before. Mm -hmm. We're not trying that, but oh, I'm wait, saving that. Try. That's my favorite. Favorite. I wish they'd give us more than one. Oh the, no, wait. these are banana. Um, like taffy, isn't it? Ew, gross. Have we tried this before? I don't think so. Banana and toffee flavored chew bar. Ew. I love toffee. Dumbbell snacks. We haven't had that one. Walking. <gasps> no, there are. There's two of these. Yeah, thanks. Happy. <laughs> What's this? Tarragon. Like a hazelnut chocolate thing. So much chocolate. And the last thing is another one of these. <laughs> what are these? I don't even know what it these looks are. like Kit Kat. Right. So, it kind of feels like there's something else in there. Some of that candy. There's none of that candies in there. There's nothing in there. Oh. 
some of that. Some of these that fell out. That's so gross. I love that picture to save it and it can be add on when I be Dwayne at Trivia. <laughs> Dwayne's not even here, so you guys really have a good chance. All right. Maybe this will be part of the trivia if it wants that. You can have that. We don't like Oh, Aaron's it. here. Yeah. He made it. Yep. He wasn't getting um notification. Yeah. But he was on. Okay, so we'll tell you what was in the premium and then we'll decide what we're gonna try. In the premium? Or in the mini, sorry. Okay. So in the mini you got you get the chips. We're gonna try those. You got these. We don't have to try those. We right. love those. I love those. those are We're gonna try the Oreo. The or we'll show them what was in it. The Oreo. These uh these things were in there. And they yeah, they're they're like a marshmallow licorice. marshmallow, but they're hard but a licorice, but they're that it's been opened, which is gross. And then these kex, which is a crispy wafer is covered in milk chocolate, giving the perfect combination of sweet crunch. And everybody. You like a Kit Kat. Becca! Hi, Becca. And then these, which are a grumpy green bear on the package. These sweet and sour bear shaped gummies are sure to put a smile on your face. Yeah, well, we had, I think we had those before. We had these before, so we're not going to try those. We didn't like them. So that will go with the licorice. And then. That's like a Kit Kat. A Kit Kat. We'll put that in the possible things you can win for the. Okay. Uh, all right. So that was in the mini. And so in the mini, you, get, you see you get all that. And then the original, you get the mini. And then you get this. So this is Dumo Snack, a delicious combination of foamed caramel mixed with crispy rice, then covered in milk chocolate. Ew. All right. So we're not going to try that, but I'll save that. I'll eat that later. A Dumbo Nugget, light and soft nugget, is combined with a layer of dark hazelnut nugget to create a decadent chocolate snack. You want to try that? Sure. You don't have to. No. If you don't try that mini out of this box, then we can try the other box. Okay. And then next is the Got and Blanc Super Spur, potentially sour gummy candies oh, and a colorful mix of shapes and flavors. They're hard. We got to try that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Then next is, we're missing something. Oh no, okay. This is roasted hazelnut are mixed with creamy milk chocolate for the perfect blend of crunch and sweetness. And we've had this. These are good if you like hazelnut. They're very hazelnutty. And then these are the, I don't know how you say it, but we have no idea why these salty licorice bites are popular, but they are a beloved Swedish snack. We're not trying those. And then, and we're gonna put a couple of these in with the give, uh, trivia giveaway. So then you have sweet, stretchy taffy and the taste of banana and toffee in every bite. And I'll try that. Okay. All right. We're going to try a few of these and a few of them are not. Sure we try first. Here, I'll try this first. Okay. If I can open it. How do you open it? I don't know. <laughs> Some of these snacks, they don't like make them so easy to open. Yeah. There. Maybe. I don't want to eat plastic. Eat it, eat it. No, I'm just kidding. Eat the plastic? <laughs> He's trying to kill me. What are they saying? Me and my mom were at McDonald's and she said I should say something before I ate. So I did an impression of Danny DeVito saying, I'm the trash man. I eat garbage. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> what the heck? There's nothing. How is it? It's not bad. You all like bananas. I don't like bananas. It tastes like banana. Big, easy, easy. All right. Then what next? Okay. That's got that candy banana flavor. Yeah. What the heck are they? <laughs> oh, they're all different shapes. Look up, show them yours. <laughs> okay, ready? Two, three. Uh 
Ah, sour. Gross. Ah, bam. They're okay. They're like, um, cabbage patch kids, kind of. Oh. All right. All right. No. <laughs> it's not in the mood for food. I think it's stuck in your teeth. Mm -hmm. All right. This is an Oreo bar. Don't they have these here? Mm -hmm. I've never had one. Have you had one here? No. We can't even compare it to what they taste like here. Yeah. Gummy. You break them off in little pieces, I guess. They look like that. Ready? One, two, two three. Mmm. Those are good. Yummy. Yummy. Never had one. Those are good. Got a chip. Love Oreos, though. We didn't even read about the chips. Did we? Yeah. I don't remember reading about them. These crispy, rigid potato chips are flavored with salt and onion. Made from only the finest potatoes. Yeah. Sounds good, Carol. <laughs> they smell like onions. Yeah. One, two, three. Mm. They're okay. They taste like a onion. Like a really oniony onion. Oh, they're good. I'm not a big onion person. Like, I don't know. I can eat a few onions, but those are good. I like them. That was everything you stick, Crepe. Uh, that was everything in the snack, crepe. Let me put it away. Are you full? Yeah. You don't want to try the other one? No. Come on. Okay. All right. Hang on, you guys. Just gotta throw away the trash. I just gotta throw away the trash. Throw away trash. Get in the next food box. Are you wondering what I'm doing? <laughs> <laughs> no. Exploration crate. This is the last one we're getting of this. Yep. All right. China. China. All right, let's see. What do we got? Let's tell us what's in there. So China. They always send you the things so you can put it in here. Okay. Yep. And then they just tell you about it. It was Chinese New Year. What's that? So I think this is like what for Chinese New Year's, um, these red envelopes, they and put people money. put money in them. They're supposed to, but this one doesn't. You about this Chinese yeah, zodiac. This just tells you about the Chinese zodiac. I'm but the year of the rat. I think I'm the dog. What year were you I'm going? a snake. You're a snake? Yeah. So, mine says, the snake is quiet but friendly. You enjoy reading and music. You get along best with dragons, oxen, and roosters. Oh, you don't get along with me. Yeah. <laughs> and you are a rat. 
You sure? Yep. Morgan is a rat. It says, if your sign is the rat, you are a hard worker. <laughs> you are also honest and good at saving money. <laughs> you get along best with dragons, monkeys, and oxen. <laughs> What's subject? Cedric is a sheep. <laughs> <laughs> this says the sheep cares for others. And that's true, especially animals. You love being outdoors. You get along best with rabbits, monkeys, pigs, and horses. Cool. But usually Chinese New Year, like they'll have parties and then they give you something like this and there's usually yeah, money or a little gift, sometimes candy for the kids, things like that. Well, that's kind of cool they did that. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, Carol wants to know what she is. What am I? 1967. Let me see. Let me look. Boy, I had my phone. Carol, you're a sheep like Cedric. Ooh. You and Cedric are sheep. <laughs> <Bah. laughs> you and Cedric are the same. All right, that tells us. All right, we're just going to keep. We're going to pull stuff out. All right, so this is Poppy and Green Apple Candy. Wow. I have no idea what this is. <laughs> jelly bars. These are jelly bars. You put them in the fridge. Ooh. Your dad used to love these. Used to love these when you were little. Me? Yeah. Your dad used to get them for you, and you put them in the fridge. Or in the freezer. I don't know if it's in the fridge or freezer. Let me see. Jelly bar backpack. Right here, jelly bar backpack. This fun little backpack is filled with several different flavors of jelly straws. They are exactly like what they sound. Little tubes filled with jelly. They had honey like sweetness and are like jello so you put them in the fridge okay yep. Ooh, like ramen we just got some ramen and that is chicken flavor just those noodles yep chicken flavor hey she loves ramen i can't wait till we get a ramen store yeah and this is potato crackers, extra crunchy, 100% gluten-free. I've never seen that. And it's just original potato. And usually um, their crackers are good. There's a little pastry thing. That's, um, this is really confusing. Custard cake. Custard, ooh. Wrapped up in this package is a light fluffy cake with custard filling. It's almost like a creamy muffin with a whipped filling. And it is great. It's like a sugarless twink Twinkie. Yeah. Less sugary Twinkie is what it Less said. This is sweet potato, which some of their sweet potato stuff is good. Yep. So this is burning sweet potato tomato flavor. These small crackers are made with sweet potato and have a creamy tomato taste. They are slightly tangy and taste almost like a creamy tomato soup. And we got some nuts. Um, what are they called? You talk to no. no, those are crackers. Hot flake? Where? Hot flake? Oh, yeah. These sweet discs are made from fruit of the Chinese hawthorn. They have a pretty understand, understated flavor, but overall are sweet and chewy. They are represent a fruit leather we have here. That's interesting. Cool. Unless these are the board beans. I don't know. <laughs> What's next? Oh, here you go, Mark. What is it? Jelly drink. Strawberry jelly drink. What the heck? So this is, this drink surprised me and how good they were at nailing the fruit flavors. They have crunchy, they have chunks of flavored jelly inside as well. Most like drinking a baba tea. They aren't overly sugary like our fruit drinks and taste great. And we got, oh, these are the hot flakes. So those are the flakes. So then what the heck is this stuff? Flavored beans? No, I think these are the beans. 
Oh, these are, I wonder if these are the spicy, a small savory snack. These crunchy sunflower seeds have a coating that is first slightly sweet, then a little spicy in the back of the throat. No, okay, we ain't trying those. And then what's that one? The Beef, beans? Yeah. Coated in a beefy flavor, these broad beans have a slightly spicy and a great crunch. They don't taste too strong, but have a pretty strong bean flavor at the end. I ain't trying those either. And there's the green onion thing cracker. A great snake, snake, a great snake, a great snack for on the go. These little bags have several little green snack crackers inside. Has a subtle sour cream and onion flavor. We got these rabbit, white rabbit. White rabbit cream candy, a staple in China. These super delicious candy is a similar to a nugget in texture. Has a milky flavor. This candy has a rice paper coating. Ew. So let it dissolve in your mouth before chewing. Got a lot of those. And we got this red candy. I don't know what it is. This is. That is a lucky strawberry candy, commonly given out during Chinese New Year or other celebrations. This hard candy has an almost yogurt strawberry flavor. We've had something like this. Mm -hmm. And then there's the green one. Those are gu guava. This yeah. isn't a super common flavor here, but it's great, especially as a candy. This hard candy is sweet and a little tart, just like other guava. I've never had guava. Never have I. All right. So we're not going to try those. These are spicy. Those are spicy. We've had these. These are good. Mm -hmm. All right. So what do we want to try? We can't try ramen. We can't try ramen. What are these? Those are the... Hot flakes? Yeah. All right, let's try this. The hot flakes? We're going to try these hot flakes. Did you guys... Oh. Yay, yay, yay. Why I got trolls? I don't even get how many people are watching. There's not that many watchers. Got nothing else to do. Come and bug me. Do you want to just split it? That's yeah. what it looks like. Split it. It's got an interesting smell. It's hard. Oh, there. It's interesting. Like this. One, two, two three. three. It's not bad, but it's got a weird flavor. These are sweet potato crackers. Yes, they are jealous of us. That's right, Carol. Everybody's watching Angie. Angie, it goes live whenever whenever I go live. Angie goes live. <laughs> it's like every time we go live, Angie goes live. You want that bigger one? They're broken. They're all crumbling. One, two, two three. three. Why don't you go away? There. You need to go away. <laughs> These are good. Do you like it? Really. It reminds me of tomato soup with crackers on it. Mm -hmm. I like those. What are these ones? Oh, these ones are supposed to taste like sour cream and onion like crackers. Cream, onion. <laughs> it's your other half of your cracker. <laughs> they smell good. I did. I banned it. I wish YouTube would have made it different. Mm -hmm. You like these? Mm -hmm. okay, I like the other ones better. These ones aren't bad, but I like the other ones. Potato cracker? These are just potato crackers. They're tiny. Oh, they're tiny. This is itty bitty. Like teasing. 
Oh. oh, those are good. They're buttery and they're super, super crunchy. Mm. Oh, they're good. And they have enough, they have a lot of salt on them. Those are good. Yum. Yummy. Definitely custard. Custard. Never had custard in this week. I'm kind of glad we're up here. We're at the kitchen table. Dining room people, so. <laughs> <laughs> it looks dry. Yeah. How are we going to do this? Like that? Well, only one person's going to get the custard then. Right. Okay. Or it's like, okay, it'll be me. There, it went like that. One. That's what it looks like inside. Mm. Oh, this is a good. Mm. It's like a lemony custard. Yeah. But it's dry. Mm -hmm. Too dry. It needs more moisture. It needs to be more moist. But it's got a lemony flavor. Good. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh. All right, so now we eat. <laughs> <laughs> now what? So, trivia? Yep. Right. What do you want me to do with those? That's going to be part of the trivia. No. Oh. I'm going to get them. Something. Oh, there it is. I got to move some of this stuff. We're running out of room. Mm -hmm. I put those behind you. Like if you put them like that, then you can put them all there. Right. For right now. Cheers. All right. So for trivia, is that open? Put that over there so you don't put. Everybody's ready for trivia. So trivia, you can get the snacks. So the snacks are from all the different snacks. You can get all the smocks. That's one option. You can get this Loot Crate pin. exclusive pin. Or we have this vintage Asian, or Asian, <laughs> Avon necklace. necklace. You see that? It's got a little like ring on the necklace. Silver tone. I don't think it's silver. I can't read. I think it's just Avon. Mm -hmm. And it comes with the original Avon box. So those are the three options. If you win trivia, if you win trivia, trivia, we're going to do how many questions you guys want to do. I'll let you guys decide. I mean, win only seven people here. Yeah, your odds are good. I think it's going to probably be between you and Aaron. Yep. I don't know who else is watching and like ready to play. <laughs> when I said, are you guys ready? You're the only one who said, you want to do 10 questions, Carol? Seriously. We usually do 15. We're going to at least do 15. <laughs> Should we just stick with the 15? Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap! Are you done? Ah. What? Better than 64. Sadrick, are you done? No. You're still doing your test? Yes. 
For reals? Did you see what Carol said to you? No, I don't. Do you see what Carol said? Carol said you don't start trash with Carol. He's really, it's been a really stressful week. Yeah. He had to change one of his classes. Yeah. It was it's too much. All right, baby boomers. Are you guys ready? Carol, is it just you? <laughs> <laughs> All right, first question. What exec got her first TV job as a as a singing and dancing pixie in Hot Point commercials. What exec got her first TV job as a singing and dancing pixie in Hot Point commercials? Bridget got it. Very Tyler Moore. Good job, Bridget. All right, next one. What did Clinton Clint Eastwood wear and never wash through three man with no name films? What did Clint Eastwood wear and never wash through three man with no name films? Heading to the who? <clears throat> What's the poo? Let's pull heading to the PO. What's PO stand for? <laughs> no, not socks. Bridget, where are you going? I'm confused. <laughs> post oh, post office. <laughs> like going to the poo? <laughs> going to the bathroom? <laughs> not his teeth. It wasn't his holster either. You're supposed to be doing your homework. No, you're not. Holy. Michelle, he's crazy. He's supposed to be doing his MCA practice test. And he's not. He, he, he has been. He's been doing it for two hours. Oh, he's like, sheesh. <laughs> tired of math. I don't like math. Face, not his face, not his hair. Not hands. Not his hands, not his vest. Okay, I'm going to read it again. What did Clint Eastwood wear and never wash through three man with no name films? Not his hands. It's a so, oh, Jim, Tara got it. I think it's her. Is it Jim or Tara today? Or are you both there? His poncho. <laughs> Carol said his cape. He wasn't, he didn't play Batman, Carol. <laughs> Clint Eastwood. Uh, what Memphis striker did Martin Luther King Jr. go to his death supporting? What Memphis strikers did Martin Luther King Jr. go to his death supporting? I didn't know that. <laughs> she meant poncho. She's like, keep, she meant poncho. Keep, poncho. Somewhat similar, I guess. <laughs> oh, it's Tara. What's Jim doing, Tara? Did he go to an auction today?
smoking pot, union. Nope. I don't think, did Martin Luther King support smoking, Junior support smoking pot? Oh, that's so close. He's packing boxes. Oh, I don't know if I should give that to her. Look at what she wrote. Mm -hmm. Did I? I don't know. What do you think? Oh, Tara, it's so close, but it's. How do you guys want to do this? Like when somebody's so close, but that's not the like answer that they have on here. I don't know how to do that. We miss Josiah. Mm -hmm. We miss her a lot. Tari, you're so close. Give okay, give it to her. So Tara said sanitation workers, and it's pretty close. It's garbage men. I think that's close. Mm -hmm. No, you guys will be like, that's not close at all. <laughs> <laughs> you guys feel like that's close? <laughs> nice try, son. You're too late. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Hi. Yeah, I thought it was the same thing, too. Okay, so Tara got it. All right. So the next one is, what comic superhero intoned in brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight? What comic book superhero intoned in brightest day and blackest night, no evil shall escape my sight. <laughs> no, not the invisible man. Oh, Sad got it. Sad got it. Green Lantern. <laughs> He's like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Michelle, you got to refresh. You're lagging. Refresh your whatever you're on. <laughs> Sutter got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, it was Green Lantern. All right, next question. What color were beetle boots? <laughs> You're okay, Michelle. What color were beetle boots? What are beetle boots? Cedric is being marked down two points for not doing schoolwork. She's right in your car, Cedric. <laughs> He's doing, he's doing both. He needs a little break. Oh, oh Carol got, got it. it. It's black. Carol got it. <laughs> Carol, you're a fast typer, I just want to say. <laughs> Jeez <laughs> Louise. You're like through the whole, whole rainbow. <laughs> and she's still going. <laughs> <laughs> Presumable Perry, we go. Carol, you got it. Stop. You got it. You won. You won that question. It was black. Oh my gosh, that was hilarious. What Randy Guru was the sexy Sadie in the Beatles? Sexy Sadie. What Randy Guru was the sexy Sadie in the Beatles? Sexy Sadie. Oh my gosh, this is going to be hard. Back to work for me it was fun while walking to the post office. Have a good Friday, everyone. Bye, Bye. Michelle. Have a great day.
I'm hungry. Mm -hmm. Can you see me read the question again? This is a hard one. What Randy Guru was the sexy Sadie in the Beatles' Sexy Sadie? Yep. Jim and Tara got it. Masha Rashi. Not Paul. <laughs> but your car got it. All right. You want to pick one? Cedric said hacks. And this is a Disney one. In which cartoon would the character who would come to be known as Pluto first introduced it? The Chain Game, Linda Paul, or Plutopia? There you go. For real? Yes. Okay, keep you on that. What? I want to see your score. In which cartoon would the character who would come to be known as Pluto first introduced the chain game, Linda Paul, or Plutopia? Carol got it. Chain game. Next question. What is the only film produced by Disney to star Oprah Winfrey? What is the only film produced by Disney to star Oprah Winfrey? Nope, now we're going time. Not the color purple. Not Princess and the Frog. I'm back. What is the only film produced by Disney to star Oprah Winfrey? Oh, I have a hard one. Wow, a bunch of them said changing. <laughs> oh, the first one. Oh. Well, that was the first question. Mm -hmm. Not Aladdin. I ate all these tomato crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Not Lilo and Stitch. 
It's not like your typical one you would know. Yeah. We lost a bunch of viewers. <laughs> Not the star. Not the big movie. <laughs> movie. Oh, that movie. Love that movie. Well, that movie. They said they were going to make a second movie and they never made it. This is a hard one. Mm -hmm. Oh, Carol got it. Beloved. Yep. Good job, Carol. Should Carol, there's only like three people here now. <laughs> Should I skip this one? Yep. Okay. True or false, the song One Little Spark was from the universe of energy at Epcot. True or false, the song One Little Spark was from the universe of energy at Epcot. What's the answer? Aaron got it. True. No one? Oh. <laughs> okay. Carol got Carol it. Carol got it. It's false. I lied. <laughs> Sorry. Look at the answer. You need glasses, woman. <laughs> Carol got it. It's false. What does it say? It was from Journey into Imagination. Right. <laughs> Sorry, Erin. <laughs> After Steve Buscemi, who started in Touchstone Pictures, Armageddon, also starred in what other Disney film? Firebird, Billy ba Bathgate, or The Rock? Want me to read it? Sure. Jennifer, you might have to refresh. Looks like you're lagging. Actor Steve Buscemi. Who starred in Touchstone Pictures, Armageddon, also starred in what other Disney films? Firebirds, Billy, Bathgate, or The Rock? Carol got it. Carol got it. It was uh, Billy ba Bathgate. She put basket, but we'll give it to her. <laughs> All right, question number 12. You want to do that? Sure. True or false? Disney's The Lion King on Broadway won a Tony Award for Best New Musical in 1998. I'm not going to say anything. Me Just tell me what the answer is. <laughs> okay. Aaron got it. True. This time, Aaron really got it. <laughs> 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 Aaron, you really got it this time. <laughs> All right, next one. Which one did we do? Okay, I'll do one of these. All right, this one is from Genius Edition. All right, what's the largest island in Europe? What's the largest island in Europe? Nope, not Ireland. Go okay, here, got it. it. Great Britain. All right. 
What band leader always carried a chinchilla? Chinchilla, chinchilla under his arm. Why is it spelled chinchilla? Yes, so. No, oh, Chihuahua. 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 <laughs> you said Chihuahua. <laughs> what band leader always carried a Chihuahua under his arm? You <laughs> <laughs> said Chihuahua. 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 I don't even know who this person is. Oh, Aaron got it. Oh, no. Yeah. Yeah. Aaron got it. Aaron got it. Oh, wait. Carol, Carol had it first. Yeah, Carol had it first. Carol had the last name first. Carol got it. Yep. Xavier Cougat. Carol got it. Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> I'm not doing well with you today. She's like, yeah. Bethany was there today. Poor Aaron. <laughs> Sorry, Aaron. <laughs> All right. What restaurant, ra, restauranter, ear? How do you say that? Restauranter. Restauranter kicked the bucket in 1980. Oh. <clears throat> I don't know how you say that. Restauranter. That's not right. That's not how you say it. Restauranter. -er. <laughs> how do you say it? <laughs> <laughs> like entrepreneur but rest with restaurant <laughs> uh, kick the bucket in 1980 we can tell you it's a fast food restaurant right <laughs> oh carl carol got it <laughs> carol guys KFC. oh no carol didn't get it because it's not kfc it's who was the thing tara, so, got, tara it. got it it was uh Colonel Sanders. All right. We're going to go through the rest of these. Sorry, the phone's ringing. I knew that would happen. All right. We got three more questions on, on this card. So we're, it? No, it's okay. Yeah. Who's the most translated English author after Shakespeare? Dr. Seuss. Thrifty. She's not Jesus. I love the answer. Who is the most translated English author after Shakespeare? Aaron got it. Mm -hmm. Jessica Agatha Christie. Aaron got it. This time, Aaron, you really got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next question. How many matches are there in a standard book of matches? How many matches are there in a standard book of matches? Cedric said Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Not 12. Oh, Aaron, Aaron got, got it. 20. 20. All right. Next one. Last question. What drink is mixed with scotch, sweet vermouth, and agar store bitters? What drink is mixed with scotch, sweet vermouth, 
and Agastora bitters. I wonder if Queen would get this one. <laughs> what is the name of the drink? That is mixed with scotch, sweet vermouth, and Agastora bitters. Not a Manhattan. Not a, drink. Not a bur bourbon. Pink gin pink? No. Oh, Carol, oh, Carol got, got it. it. It's a Rob Roy. Carol got it. All right, let's see where we're at. That one was so, so Bridget had one, Tara had one, two, three, Carol, Cedric had one, Carol had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Aaron had one, two, three, four. So Carol, Carol you're, you're the winner. winner. You're the winner, 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 chicken dinner. What 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 prize would you like, Carol? <laughs> I should have said you don't know Scott. <laughs> 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 the the Avon necklace. necklace. All right. All right. Okay. Now. Let's put that for there for yeah. Now we have two we, mm, two auctions. You guys want to do the live auction? Where's your phone? Okay. You want to do live auction? We are all learning stuff. I like that. Yeah. So we can do live auction. I have two different items. We can do one or two, or we can do another trivia. Up to you guys. I'll leave it up to you guys. Because I have two. Roll and picker. Yes. You've missed a lot, Roll and picker. We've been on for an hour and a half. What do you guys want to do? Have a blue lot, or what is this from Harry, Harry Potter. Potter? Have a Harry Potter lot, which maybe I'll wait because peace isn't here. And this is my last Harry Potter, so maybe I'll wait on that. So we can either do a three-minute auction or trivia. Or trivia. I'm gonna show you what's in this blue lot. All right. So in this blue lot, let's see. There is this necklace. I don't know if you can see that it's blue and it's long. And let me move this closer. It has the C mark on it, which I don't know what that is for exactly. So there's this necklace is in there. And then there are these dangly earrings that match that necklace. It matches the same kind of, you see the blue on that? So that's in there. And then there are some these, which are really pretty. They're like a light turquoise. Um, I didn't see any markings on them. So that's what they look like in the back. So that's in there. And then there is a pendant in here. That's what the pendant looks like. It's kind of that turquoise-y. 
There don't seem to be any stones missing from what I can see. And I didn't see any markings on it either. But that's what the back looks like. Yeah, it could be Charming Charlie. But then that's what this looks like. And then that's what the, so I think it might be a little older pendant. So that's what's in the blue lot. And how this works is um, we start at a set price. We do, well, first we have to see how much of a delay there is for everybody. We'll do a ping test. I'll say, I'll count to three and say ping. Everybody types ping in the um, chat and Morgan's gonna time it so we see what it is and we add that on to the three minutes. Um, shipping for this will be um, 366. So you pay for shipping. Um, and then the bid starts at $1 and goes up. You only have three minutes. So make sure that you're bidding a little higher because a few people have lost because they waited um, too long to place a bid or they placed it too low. So, all right, so we're gonna start with the ping test. You got that ready? Mm -hmm. All right, ready? One, two, three, ping. Type ping in the chat so we know what the thing is. Oh, the delay. We'll stop it. So Cindy was our last person to type in ping, and that was at, what was it, 35 seconds? Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to add 35 seconds to the three minutes. So you'll have three minutes and 35 seconds when I say go, and Morgan will show you um, to bid on this blue lot. Like I said, you get everything in the lot, um, and you pay for shipping. So ready, set, go. So again, you get, we need a dollar to start this and it goes up at least in dollar increments. You get these really pretty, they're like a light turquoise kind of earrings. And then this pendant, which I think is really, really pretty. Carol, Carol came in at a dollar. At a dollar. And then this necklace. Well, that's really long. Roland picker at three. Roland came in at three. And that's what it looks like. All the way. Cindy at four. Down. It's really cute. It's long now. And then again, I'm not sure. On the the marking, but it does have that C. Pull the picker at five, and then it has the earrings that match. Like that. What they look like? They're cute. I love this piece though. Sydney at six. That's what the back looks like. Pull and picker at seven. We have a little more than a minute and a half left. Yep, it's Charlie, Charming Charlie. Carol just looked it up. So the marking on this necklace is, so it's a Charlie Charming necklace. I don't personally know a ton about Charlie Charming, but 
from what I can tell, it is an extendable, so you can make it longer like Jennifer that. Jennifer at eight. Um, so you can make it pretty long. Rolling at 10. I think I have it tangled. I have it tangled a bit, but it's really cute. But it is definitely like I can slide it over my neck. <laughs> Pretty long. Pretty long. Now you got my DNA. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that. And these are really pretty, and those pretty. I like those. Those are cool. Rolling pick is gonna win it at ten. We got fifteen seconds. If you guys want to bid, you better hurry and put your bid in. A rolling picker is gonna get it at ten dollars. Six, five, five, four. four. Three, Three, two, two one. one. Eh. Rolling Picker won it for $10. Thank you guys so much for bidding. Thank you, Rolling Picker. Michael, I will send you a message. And, oh, Jennifer, you're too late. That's why we always say, be careful, you'll lose right at the end. We see it happen so much. Mm -hmm. um, Michael, I will message you on Facebook on setting up payment um, and, and all that and getting this out to you. So thank you guys so much. We love you guys. We are really hoping to now, once um, Sutter gets settled with school and stuff, to really try to make it on once a week. It might not always be on Fridays like we were hoping. Mm -hmm. Um, but we are really going to try hard. Yeah, on our screen it didn't though. So that's what happened. We go by what's on our screen. Sorry. Yeah, we're going off our screen. Mm -hmm. What comes in for us. Yep. But, um, just like on the Dwayne's action show. Yeah, we added the delay. Sorry. Um. But yeah, so that's our hope is to keep coming on live at least once a week. We know we haven't been doing that so well with that, but we're really trying to make a better effort at doing that. Um, and I know for us, we need to keep the show, the show a little bit shorter, so no more than two hours. <laughs> mm -hmm. um, then she doesn't get burnt out so well or so fast. But um, yeah. We will be back sometime next week. We love you guys. We've missed you guys. And we will see you soon. Remember to keep keeping it real until we see you next time. Bye. Bye.